Hi there, Murray's here with the Resuscitation Coach. On this channel we do all things resuscitation, so please consider subscribing. In today's video we'll be discussing norepinephrine, so let's jump straight in. Here we go! In this session, we'll be discussing norepinephrine, one of the most widely used medications in critical care, emergency medicine, and used by some emergency medical services around the world. Norepinephrine, or norepi, also known by its straight name of levofed, is also known in Europe as noradrenaline. In this video, we'll be discussing the mechanism of action of norepinephrine, its indications, dosage, and the precautions of norepi. Norepinephrine is an endogenous catecholamine and has a potent alpha and beta adrenergic stimulating properties. With the alpha receptors, we see effects on alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptors. With the alpha activation, we are looking primarily at a contraction of the vascular smooth muscle, both in the arteries and veins. With the activation of these receptors, we achieve vasoconstriction, which leads to an increase in systemic vascular resistance, leading to an increase in the patient's blood pressure. With the beta receptors, we see effects on the beta 1, beta 2, and beta-3 receptors. We will only be touching on beta-1 and beta-2. In the heart, the beta-1 affects increased heart rate or chronotropy and increased contractility or inotropy. This leads to an increase in the cardiac output. In beta-2, it affects the bronchial smooth muscle that leads to the dilation of the airways. Let's review the indications of norepinephrine. Norepi is used for severe cardiogenic shock and hemodynamically significant hypotension, which is a systolic blood pressure less than 70 millimeters mercury with low total peripheral resistance. Norepi is used as part of our American Heart Association post-resuscitation care algorithm as well and is also used as an agent of last resort for the management of ischemic heart disease and shock. Norepinephrine has a short half-life of about two and a half minutes and is given as a continuous infusion. The preferred route is via a central line, but it can also be given via an IV line using a large vein like the antecubital fossa. It comes either in a premix solution or must be manually prepared from vials. Dosing is typically organizational dependent, but the AHA guidelines recommend an infusion rate of 0.1 to 0.5 mics per kilo per minute, which is for an average 70 kilogram adult about 7 to 35 mics per minute. Titrate nor epinephrine to a mean atrial pressure or a MAP of 65, signs of improved perfusion or adequate MAP for the patient as per your local protocol. The precautions to take in consideration when using norepinephrine includes there will be obviously an increase in myocardial oxygen requirements due to the increased heart rate and blood pressure. It may also induce arrhythmias and may cause severe tissue necrosis with extravasation. This is the reason why the central line route is preferred. Norepi is relatively contraindicated in patients with hypovolemia. If you benefited from this video, kindly like, subscribe and smash that notification bell. We'll appreciate your support. We'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.